Hi, this is Tawny from Lacuna Cosmetic Inc. I'm gonna be talking you through how to care for your lip tattoo during the healing process. First, I'm gonna go through what to expect over that whole process, and then we're gonna talk about your morning night routine and what you need to do and not do. So you've got about a 30 day um, period of change that will happen, but only about five days of actually doing your aftercare. Day one, your lips are going to look quite bold, a bit more like lipstick, not that really soft, healed, uh, natural result that they will be in the end. Don't worry about it, just trust the process. You will also have a bit of swelling on the day, usually only lasts about 24 hours though. Now what you'll find is around day three, four, your lips are going to start um, peeling. It can even be a little bit sooner than that, like day two. Everyone is different, so don't be alarmed if they do start peeling a little bit sooner. Um, and then really you'll only have a day or two of that peeling um, process. Can be a little bit awkward because it's gonna look a bit patchy and funny and you can't put makeup on it or hide it or do anything. So you've just got to um, go through that rite of passage. Now, when they finish peeling, it's probably gonna be around day five. They will look very, in terms of the color, very light at first. Um, and then that's when the rest of that 30 day period um, comes through because it's actually going to, the color will develop back through um, over that time frame. So essentially it's just superficially healed at the five day mark. Um, but underneath the surface and sitting on top of the pigment, you've got a lot of collagen in the area and a lot of healing still happening. Um, once that settles down, the color will show back through. Now, we need to talk about what not to do and what to do. So essentially you wanna keep your lips really clean and also really dry. When we say clean, it is a minor trauma that we've created in the area. Um, so don't touch with your fingers, clean pillowcase, um, try not to put any makeup near the area. Obviously this is quite a difficult um, area to keep clean because it's your mouth, you eat, you clean your teeth, all these things. So just do your absolute best, TLC. I definitely recommend when it comes to food, cutting small little bites. Don't have any like messy food, like a crunchy burger or something that's just gonna go everywhere. Um, so be mindful of what you are eating and definitely uh, drink through a straw with all your liquids. I'd also recommend not eating spicy food because it's not gonna feel very nice. Um, and just yeah, keeping the area really, really clean. Now, when we say keeping the area dry, the reason is we want the scabbing or peeling to really be on there for as long as possible. Um, if it does come off prematurely, what's gonna happen is it's gonna um, pull pigment with it, essentially. And so that's not gonna yield really great healed results. So keeping it really dry is gonna keep that uh, scabbing on there for as long as possible, and then just let it all fall off naturally and in time when it is ready to. Of course, no picking as well, which can be tempting when it's peeling, but just remember I'm pulling pigment out or I could be causing scarring and those sorts of things. So just really let the area do its own thing. Uh, now, you also wanna protect it from the sun too. So when you're out and about, I would definitely recommend uh, wearing a hat because of course you can't put sunscreen on the area. Now, when we talk about a morning night routine, it's pretty easy. It's just giving them a really gentle clean and then putting your aftercare product on. Um, so the way we clean them is essentially take a dry cotton round, put a little bit of mild soap on that, which I will actually provide you with on the day, uh, just a pea sized amount. And then we're gonna rinse that through a little bit not so it's completely gone, but also we don't want it to be too soapy and then give that a squeeze. And so it's just like a damp cotton round and we're just gonna pat the area. Uh, and from there, just put your aftercare um, straight back on. Now the aftercare, I do recommend actually using throughout the day as well, because your lips will start to feel quite dry, especially around day two, three, when they're starting to peel. So that's essentially your, I guess, lip balm during that healing process. Um, so we do all of that and then you do come back again and we do repeat the whole process. With that first session, the goal is just to create um, a base or a starting point and then, and of course the shape and everything like that, get all of that even and symmetrical, but it will be a little bit too light after the first session. So even once the color develops back through, you'll find it's a little bit light for what your goals are. Um, and then in that second session, that's really when we focus on achieving your desired saturation. So um, adding more of the same color or even adjusting color slightly if we need to. Um, everybody's skin does retain, which just means hold a different amount of pigment over the healing process. So we do ease you into it. We never go 
overboard, you know, that whole thing that you can always add more, but it's harder to take away. So it is a two step thing. For most people, two sessions is actually enough to achieve their goals. Um, some people, maybe five to 10% of clients will need additional sessions or an additional session. Um, and that's essentially down to, for example, if you are a bleeder, despite following pre-care, or if you don't follow your pre-care correctly, if you have difficult skin or mature skin, underlying sun damage, health concerns such as thyroid issues, it can for some people take additional, um, like I said, sessions to get to where you wanna be. But for most people, you're fine with just the two. So definitely make sure you do book in for your complimentary touch up. It should be within six to 12 weeks of your initial session, um, just to make sure you are getting the most out of your treatment and follow all the uh, aftercare and um, yeah, you'll be fine. Make sure you do get in touch though if you need anything during that healing process. We're always happy to help out and guide you and I look forward to seeing you again soon.